Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. In today's video, we are going to talk about how you can make changes in your home to increase your wealth and your health. I'm going to share with you some of my horror stories. I'm going to get real honest and a little bit chatty, but I promise you that by the end of this video, you will have some concrete practical hands-on things you can do to enhance your home for health and wealth. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so this Bagua is available to you on my website. And what I would like for you to do is hold this end to your chest. This is the end that you hold to your chest. And when you walk into your home or to your, your room, you're going to walk in either in your wisdom area, your career area, or your helpful people area. Now, you're going to look to the left and you're going to look to the middle space right here. This is the area we're going to focus on for this video. I want you to jot down what is the major color scheme. Do you have a lot of metal in this area? Do you have a lot of wood in this area? Do you have stones? Do you have your bathroom sink in this area or your toilet in this area? Write everything down. So remember, imagine there's a rectangle square. You're gonna use this chart. You're gonna walk into the room. This Bagua actually re reflects your entire home but also each room so you can put it over your entire house and then which room is in this area and then for each room that you walk into remember to use this area as your map and you're going to look in that middle left space against the wall and you're going to look into see what's in those areas and then we're going to talk about it we're going to i'm going to give you some things and some some tips some tricks some things you can do i don't want to call them trips i'm just going to uh tricks I'm going to give you some tips on how you can enhance this area to improve For your those life. of you who are new to my channel, I want to talk to you a little bit about what, about what feng shui is. Feng shui is the ancient art of placement that shows that every area of our home represents a, a different part of our life. And it has a certain chi and a certain energy to it, right? It vibrates at a certain frequency, certain colors, certain elements and certain um, objects all affect how this portion of your home is impacting your life. Now the way I like to think of feng shui is that you know how people like to have vision boards about what they want? Well your home is a 3D reality vision board of the life you're either going to manifest or the things that you have already manifested child. The pictures in your home at a subconscious level, the best way for me to tell you to think about this is that everything that, okay, we are spiritual beings. And the, think of it, the way I like to think of it is imagine that, um, I don't know, let's think of ice for a moment. So, we, you know, when ice is steam, remember, you know, like we know when it's steam, well, it's in a different form. So I feel like as human beings, we are like um, a spark of light, like we are light beings, you know. And when we come into this physical 3D body, then we vibrate our, you know, at a slow rate, like, like like the ice, right? Now, everything in our environment is an extension of our soul. So this lipstick I put on today, I put this lipstick on. Nobody told me to put this lipstick on, or this hair, or every. And so just like my body is a reflection of my mind, my thoughts my you know the color I chose today so is your environment your environment is an extension of who you are child you selected the home you selected the items in the home and it is all reflecting back to you a physical manifestation of what is really going on in your heart your in your soul does that does that make sense now a lot of times people say you know I don't believe in feng shui I have never found feng shui to be wrong it is even when I have been practicing feng shui for 30 years and I always think I know everything but I don't and I things only come to me when it's time so just so you understand what is going on because I, I think I'm gonna have to explain for each section because I never know who's gonna be a new viewer so just keep in mind it is a 3d um, it's a 3d manifestation of an extension of your thoughts your words, your actions, things that have happened to you 
or will happen to you, your subconscious is always manifesting itself into physical reality. And that really is what feng shui is. Now, the ancient um, wise people, they found that each area of the home represents certain aspects of our life. For this video, we're going to focus on your family area. But before we get started, I want to uh, just want to make sure my camera was going. Yes, it is. Before we get started, I want to share a story with you. So, um, the thing about feng shui, I learned, I want to tell you how I found out about feng shui. So, when I was in my, maybe about 20, my late teens, my early 20s, so we started like 30 some years ago, child. I called a psychic and I was, you know, telling her about what was going on in my life. And so she told me, you know, go look in your left corner and tell me what's over there. And I told her and she told me. This is the best psychic I've ever talked to in my life. She asked me, had I ever heard of feng shui? No, I've never heard of feng shui. She said, okay, your stove is in your money area. The, your, the stove represents wealth and feng shui, but we'll talk about that later in another video. But she said, um, that's your wealth area. You know, maybe you should like paint it purple. You should do something with that area. She told me not to call her back. She said, because you are not going to have money for a while. And I don't want you to waste your money talking to me. She said, if, you, if I see that it's you, I would not answer the phone because I want to see you succeed. She said that God has a big plan for your life. This woman, I was just like, and I remember, I'm like 20. So I'm thinking like, what? You know, this doesn't make sense. But she told me uh, several books to go look into for feng shui. And I started feng shui in my home. I painted the entire wall in my kitchen purple and you know money did start flowing but I couldn't keep the money but I'll tell you about that in this video we're gonna talk about why I couldn't keep that money child so um, now while you are looking up the items in that middle section on the left hand side of your home and the left hand side of each one of your rooms you go ahead and do that and then I'm going to show you talk to you about some of the things that may you may have done right and not even know it and some of the things that you have done wrong and how to correct them and we're going to move forward so here is a little mini area that i put together to represent the health and family area for feng shui with everything that would make a perfect feng shui area now this area is responsible let me tell you what this area is responsible for it's not just responsible for just your family and your health this area is responsible for you being able to meet your your basic needs making ends meet may you know having a good stable job now the area we're going to go over in the next video is responsible for like big money like you know the luxury things but this if this area has to be intact or otherwise you're gonna find that you make money but for some reason every time you make money here comes the IRS every time you make money your tire break down every time you you know you break make money something happens to stop you from being successful or holding on to that money or being able to save there's always something that's happening that's preventing you from being able to prosper or okay so let me tell you about this area now the color for your health and family area is green so I painted this little room I painted it green this is actually just like a little box I painted it green and I mixed in blue and here the element for this area is wood so this is wood furniture as you can see this is really cute little oh, I'm get it, get it in focus with the camera so this is this wood little tiny little wood chair and um, I painted it blue because the colors are blue and green for this area the element is wood the shape for this area is anything that's rectangle so a rectangle a green rectangle is like bomb like it's a good cure another thing uh, element for this area is a tree the tree not, uh, or a symbolic representation of that enhances the chi for this area is anything that is a plant but nothing is worse as well oh, my check as a tree because in a tree represents like our family tree it's um, wood it's the tree of life and it's also um, anything that grows on a tree like uh, flowers are good for this area as well 
in addition to fruit now I couldn't figure out I didn't want to like not make the video because I know I could get caught up trying to make some apples or peaches like in, in feng shui peaches represent long life so um, green apples are good as well but anything that grows on a tree is also a good representation for this area I'm looking for this little placemat <laughs> let me put the little placemat so another element so just remember that water nurtures wood so you have to water your plant in order for it to grow right so anything black represents water so this is why I have the little black you see my little black carpet or little rug here and I love flowers so anything floral print anything vertical also represents wood um, is good for this area so just remember this for your health and wealth area anything that's in a floral print black is good for this area because black helps wood to grow but if you only have black and you don't have wood then you know this you, you need to put something there that represents the wood element and it plants healthy plants you don't want a plant that's struggling for life to be in this area you don't want anything in this you know you want it to be vibrant and and um and very you know and flourishing also for this area this area represents our ancestors so from even though harriet tubman and um frederick douglas are not my ancestors but they are in my head you know what i'm saying but in my home i actually have a picture of my father who's deceased and my maternal grandmother in this area as well I painted a bunch of um, wood crates I painted them this color actually the color that you see in this box right here this is this is actually the color that I painted a bunch of rectangle wood crates and I put in the area and I made them into a bookshelf because I'm serious and I just started working on this area uh, because I didn't think it was important in the past because it was it's really focused on your ancestors your health your roots your your relationship with your family and I thought you know I have my relationship with my ancestors is cool I get along with my family um, I've, I'm in good health so why am I gonna focus a lot of energy on this area and here um, I have uh, as you can see I have a little lamp I painted it black so just I just want to recap really quickly so for this area, in order for it to flourish, you need things that are floral, floral print, right? So I have my little floral print rug here. You need things that are made of wood. Anything that's in a rectangle shape, like I have this little table that's a rectangle. This is wood. The colors are blue and green. I painted the room green. I have beautiful blue wooden furniture. I have a bushy plant here in this area. So these are all things that, I ha that will enhance the chi for my family and wealth area and I also have here a black carpeting with that has a floral print has little flowers the water nourishes the wood so that the you know the plants or the trees so it can grow so this is the area that's responsible for your root so you see here I also have some pictures I need to just stop because this is gonna drive me insane keep picking it up I also have some pictures here about family you see, you want to have any like any little sayings and quotes about family and, you know, family being close or and make and, and also try to have your little um, plaques or little objects in, in wood. I used to have some yoga figures because it's also represented our health area. I used to have some some little yoga figures of the person doing yoga in this area. I don't know what happened to those little figures but just keep in mind this is not an area where you want you know how sometimes when you look at art and it may look really beautiful but when you look at it you wonder like the people don't really look that happy or you may you know you you want a family because this is for your elders this area also represents our strength and the strength to um, be stable to make good decisions when storms come for us to hang on for us to uh, like say you're going through something this this working on this area would give you the the strength to 
to hang on, to make good decisions, to, to stand firm. That's the best way to say that. So this is an example of a really good feng shui area for health and wealth. A person who would have this in their home would be able to make their ends meet. Their basic needs would be met. They would find that the, any ideas or plans that they have, they would find themselves flourishing. But if this area is not together, you can make money, but the money just for some reason would not remain in your family. Like you'll find yourself, like I said, there are a lot of things happening where you'll find that you know, here comes the IRS or here comes my tire just broke down. Here comes another bill. Here, co You know, things just keep happening. So don't neglect this area because this area has to do with your roots, your ideas being rooted, being uh, connected to your ancestors, being connected to your your strength, to your family, not just your physical family, but also your your spiritual family and it also is responsible for your for you being connected to your community now family also means friends or anybody that you're close to it's not just blood ties but this is your ability to build networking opportunities and relationships with your community with family and friends now I like for you to take a moment to look and see how many of these things that you already had in your family and health area and I, like I said before um, when we're talking about the plants you could also have like some apples peaches flowers things that grow on trees things that are luscious and you know some fruit all of these things are also good for this area so when you think about your health and wealth area I want you thinking wood I want you thinking blue and green. I want you thinking floral prints. I want you to thinking in terms of vertical lines and um, black for water because you want to water your plants. Healthy, vibrant plants, a nice picture of a tree or like a real nice tree, you know, like a, a, a depending on how big your home is. Things that grow on trees for Chinese, the peaches represent like long life green apples, um, flower, floral prints, all of these things represent wood. Another thing I want you to please, please, please keep in mind, make sure the camera is going, yes, another thing I want you to really keep in mind is that you should like whatever it is. Like don't put things in your home that do not make you happy just because you, you know, feng shui said do this or do that. Try to just find some things that can fit and, you know, to help enhance that chi that resonates with your personality because that is the most important factor the other thing about feng shui is that it's like there it's not a bible in the sense that what may work for me may not work for you you know you have to like it it has to resonate with you it has to mean something with you these are tools that can help you so let's just say for example you have a lot of white in that area well white represents metal right White represents, well, I don't know if you know that, but in feng shui, white represents metal. And what does metal do to wood? You see this? This is this is a perfect good feng shui for this area. This is a green, um, uh, what do you call it, popsicle stick, right? This is with perfect feng shui. And this is metal. These are metal scissors. So remember, metal cuts wood metal chops wood so here are some things you want to stay away from for that area you want to stay from away from metal because metal chops wood you want to stay away from from f fire if you have wood in the area so let's just say you have a, some really nice wood things but you have a lot of red you know like drapery you have a lot of red furniture red represents what fire so what is the fire going to do it's going to burn up your wood right now let's say you have a lot of metal and anything that's a circular like circles like behind me here I don't know if you guys can see but this is my creativity area and I have a lot of circles circles they're metal circles and metal represents um, I'm sorry metal circles represent metal and also um, 
yeah well, anyway I was getting myself confused circles represent metal now so let's just say for example in your health and wealth area you have things in circles let's say it's a you have circles but it's a wood that's not good I personally this is my personal opinion so just you know find out for yourself I think that the element supersedes the shape like the shape and the, I think so if you have a lot of round wood I think you're good but if your round wood is painted white or red I still honestly think you're good so one of the things you could do because I think wood is a dominant factor but I think one of the things you could do just to you know if you, especially if you're about to start a business or you're having some money problems you know every time you try to make money something happens here comes a bill here comes a tire popping here you know what I'm saying you can t get some construction paper and make some rectangular shapes so because the shape for this area is is a rectangle the element and the color is the predominant color is green and also blue is a color but remember green represents wood blue is like the complementary color because it's usually more than one color but you might find that blue works better for you because it's your favorite color or you love it more but you don't every cure for feng shui does not have to be seen so you could just go ahead like let's just say you have white blinds go ahead and make some little red triangles so red triangles represent fire and fire melts metal so you might want to put the fire in that area to help melt some of the metal because the metal is chopping your wood does that make sense so remember you want your wood element to be dominant because in this particular area this is what enhances the chi and you can do that with trees pictures of trees I have a lot of wooden boxes that open and I also put my ancestor money in those boxes this is the area where you want to have pictures of your elders and this is the area that gives you strength so for your elders you can have pictures of your parents a happy family people who are fit people you respect um, because this is the area that is going to you know give you the strength and the support you need to go out into the world to manifest your dreams this area is also responsible for your roots the tree like a bus big bushy tree the tree has roots right so the roots of the tree actually you know um, you're grounded into the earth so let me just tell you a story child all my life I, I gotta be honest with you been practicing feng shui for over 30 years I have never thought that this area was important I'm not gonna lie to you and nothing I have done has prospered when I say prosper I, I make money but the money doesn't take root the things up you know like, um, I used to have a paper magazine and my kids and I would hustle the streets and we would place the magazine on all of these different stands there was always a problem like the people that um, the biz the local businesses when I would try to sell them ads people wanted con to control my content oh we don't want you writing about this otherwise we're not gonna we're not gonna place the ad in your publication I was things just never worked for me I made dolls and I went to a doll show I didn't sell a single doll people like my dolls I cannot name I cannot tell you all of the things I have about six or seven books or more that I have published like in my 30s or the, the, the was available on Amazon a long time ago and and the books never really sold abundantly like you know a sprinkle here and there and I remember I would always like think to myself like what's wrong with me like is it the books is it you know the magazines the dolls oh, I can't even begin to tell you all of the things that I have accomplished but it's like nothing would take root so the interesting thing about this area in feng shui is that I've paid attention to I don't understand I, I paid attention to my wisdom and knowledge area my love area 
area, my helpful people area, but the family and health area that I'm talking about to you today, it has been my, um, I really have done very little for that area, I think. And when I look at my life, now the only reason I have paid attention to this area is because I was doing a video for YouTube. And I decided to pull out my, my old feng shui books and say, well, let me just brush up on my scales a little bit. Make sure I cover everything thoroughly for them, you know, because of course I'm a master. No, I'm just, I'm joking. And so I'm reading, I left off in the family area. I just read enough like, oh, this is your ancestors, your roots, your elders, your community. And I was thinking that all of these things are pretty boring. And then right where I left off, the next chapter talks about this is the area that's responsible for having your basic needs met, for having your ideas prosper. If you are trying to start a business and you want your business to succeed, this area is very important. It's about new beginnings. It's about having the support of your ancestors and your community and people reach and people help. I was like, oh my God. I literally only read the rest of this book that I've had for 30 years because I was doing this YouTube channel. So, and it talks about like, if you find that nothing is working for you, not, none of your ideas are taking root, you know, you can, one sentence said, you can work all day and night on your wealth area that we're gonna talk about in another video. The, you know, you can paint things purple, you can do whatever you want. That area is for luxuries. That area is for big money. But if you don't take care of your family area, nothing is going to blossom in your wealth area. You hear me? That made me sick to read that. I, I was literally sick. Here it is. Here I am. Oh my God. All this time in my life, I didn't think it was important to read the entire chapter because I thought okay it's about family and ancestors and roots uh, cool that's not the most important thing to me do you hear me so that area guess what i have had in my area prior to three days ago white yep. everything in there was white um everything represents metal so i had a whole bunch of metal in my wood area nothing wood um nothing floral no plants, nothing was in my family and health area. And um, I thought, this area is a true representation of my life. So the other thing I want to share with you guys before I wrap up this video is that, you know, for those, I don't know if some of you know or not, but I, I teach psychology. I don't know if some of you know this, but I have a doctorate in psychology and I have two master's degrees and I've been teaching full time for, you know, almost 20 years. And when I first got my job, when I first was, when I was first hired to teach, I had this little office with no windows that I absolutely adored. I love this office. Love, love, love. It was just a tiny little office. But it was feng shui to the max. In the wood area, you know, it was on the right side for because wood represents. It was an, sometimes in most times, guys, you you don't know this, but your environment is already feng shui to a certain degree. But I loved, I adored this office. And over time, when you on my job, um, when a window office becomes available, people think you should take it. But I really didn't want the window office. I wasn't interested, but everybody was telling me, you have to take this window. You got to take the window. You are senior staff now. You're in a junior office. You know, you have, I, I didn't want to, I, I was so sad that my son actually moved my office because I, I never wanted to move my office because I was so happy. And my little windowless office that was just a dream. I used to sleep on the floor, you know, while I worked on my PowerPoint presentations, while I went over my notes. Anyway, I moved to this new office because everybody, well, I'm, I'm pretty much being forced, but you know, I, I had a choice, but I could have said no, but I was just like, okay, I'm going to move. So I moved into the office across the hall that has a window. And from the moment I moved into the office, it was nothing but bad luck. I broke my right hand. I sure did for a whole summer I was depressed um, 
just ran into all type of problems like it just seems like before I was like I had better relationships with my administrators everything was so much better when I was in my old office it just seems like everything flipped like I I, I don't want to go through all that because I have students you know who watch some of my videos but things changed the minute I moved across the hall and when I was thinking about it so let me just t tell you guys this my office that I moved into my office that I moved into has this huge metal bookshelf or, or case or what do you call it like a file cabinet it's huge like almost to the ceiling that is metal in my wood area and the wood bookshelves are all in my metal area that is the way that the office was already set up and in the office that I moved out of it had perfect feng shui on the left side there were these beautiful bookshelves made of wood for your money area it was the you know the wood shelves and the wood cabinets are right in my money area the wood you know for my uh, family and health area was already there across from me was a big old metal cabinet that fit perfectly right in my children's area for creativity and for my helpful people area which is also the elements it was already feng shui and perfect feng shui so a lot of times when you move into like a new apartment or a new home pay attention to the natural feng shui pay attention to what happened to the people that were who were there before you i promise you i've seen so many patterns where have you ever seen where a business can't flourish like they, like there's a business and every business that goes in that particular area doesn't flourish okay that's because it's the energy of that particular location uh, for some reason no matter where I move no matter what it is I have good love feng shui now the thing about windows I want to just say this is that windows um, a lot of times chi flows up life energy flows like you need your chi to kind of circulate so that you can benefit from it so if you have really large windows you might want to put crystals or wind chimes so another thing you can do for your family area is add some wood wo some wooden uh, wind chimes to that area and if I were you if you have a lot of metal going on make sure you put like get some construction paper make some little red triangles to melt the metal and then you want to add some uh, wind chimes because wind chimes have powerful energy and feng shui even if you want to add like the little um, rectangular rectangular green construction paper you can put that there and you also want to put like some little wavy like some black construction paper water because you want your water to nurture your wood <clears throat> now um, in closing guys this is what I want to say the lesson that I've learned First, I don't think things happen until it's time. Like I really, I, I'm, you know, I know I have a lot of crazy stuff on my channel, but I believe in God. Like I'm just that girl, and um, I believe that things don't happen for you until, you know, until it's God's time. You can do all of the, you know, all of the spells, the magic, the feng shui, all whatever you want to do. I still think there's a divine energy behind all of your success. I, I truly believe that and I believe also that you don't prosper until you are doing what it is that you came to this planet to do like some people they go and they get a job and the next thing you know they're the CEO because they're where they belong that's why they're prospering and that's why they're growing that's why they're being successful because it's where they belong and I feel like we all have different places where we belong some people make two hundred thousand dollars and for some reason they have two hundred thousand dollars worth of debt so it's almost like they're at zero that's because they're supposed to be doing something else and I honestly believe that we're all here to prosper but you prosper when you are in alignment with your soul's divine sublime plan and I feel that God the universe have whichever word that you're comfortable with keeps you hungry which is why you don't have money so that you can you know go back to school and get that degree or write that book that's been on your heart so not if you're looking at money as the only way of of 
it, the only definition of wealth. I think you're looking at it wrong. I think that lack of, you know, of money, the physical, you know, money, the coins, the dollars, whatever, that to me is only, uh, it's something to keep us hungry and keep us motivated to keep us, to keep our eyes open for opportunities to, to reach out to the people that we are here to help. If it was up to me, I would just make dolls and I would never do anything else. But that is not the, the complete divine plan for my life. The other thing I want to say to you is that I feel like God really got me that time because here I am, you know, thinking I know all everything there is to know about feng shui. And in the last few pages of a chapter, it says, everything you do nothing is going to prosper until it's rooted until it takes root if this area is not taken care of things are not going to prosper um i stopped reading only because i thought i i didn't think that the area was that important to me you know that i didn't think family the area for health and wealth i felt like you hey, know we're good i'll just throw something over here but i never really paid attention to it because i didn't think it was a big deal because it wasn't time for me to know. So guys, I really hope you got something out of this video that can help you enhance your health and your wealth to make all of your dreams come true. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.